What's going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. There's 20 minutes left in the trading day. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, what's really causing SoFi so much distress, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So it is down 3.86%. As far as volume, kind of low. 28.7 million shares have been traded. 52.7 is the average. So that's been something over the last two trading days that has been really occurring. It's just big money not really getting into SoFi. And there's been a lot of, I guess, red flags essentially across the broader market to kind of justify that. So obviously take that with a grain of salt. But these are some of the transactions that have occurred today on the secondary market above $100,000. No specific news associated to SoFi today, no SEC filings. So today, one of the biggest things moving SoFi was bank earnings. And JP Morgan, their CEO, recently did say during their earnings call is the fact that they are not going to be buying back their stock because they think it's too high. So a lot of companies unveiled their earnings and it kind of, it was mixed results, nothing really, really crazy. And in my opinion, I was kind of looking through a lot of analysts and seeing what their views on, for instance, bank earnings are. And my thoughts are that it kind of looks like it's being propped up. And I think a lot of people have brought this up in the past. You see a lot of analysts being somewhat showy, too much salesman -y, like we're okay, things are fine, things are fine but they're really not. So in my opinion, I do feel just the banking sector, the old school brick and mortar is flawed. And eventually, whether it because of a downtrend or whatever else, but people are going to be moving to fintechs because they are so much more productive, so much less cost required to actually run a business. And there's so much more advantages to just the fintechs in general that again, I feel like just the brick and mortars, their time is going to be done soon rather than later uh, most likely I think a lot of people are assuming of course this is more tinfoil hat somewhat but a very massive recession will cause that big transition into fintechs uh, so it's it's one of those interesting scenarios plus you do see some signs of manipulation happening with SoFi so right now shorts are increasing 3.46 million shares when it comes down to the banks unveiling their earnings a lot of the banks even though they're not heavily shorted I was taking a look at them shorts are randomly returning shares how does that make sense so for instance with JP Morgan when they're selling off today why are shorts returning shares but with SoFi they're doubling down so I think just it's a weird day. I did decide to buy a little bit at three dollars and I think thirty nine cents. Uh, so kind of within my range. For those of you that do tune into my pre market video, I did say exactly because at the time of doing it, I think it was at seven dollars and sixty cents. I said that it was going to pull down into between this seven thirty six to seven fifty. And lo and behold, here we are. 19 minutes left, so obviously that could change, but we'll wait and find out. But utilization is 69.23%. 17.23% of the free float is being shorted. And that works out to be 171.04 million shares. Cost of borrow average is 0.79%. I'm not going to bring this up because obviously I think I kind of cursed SoFi because whoever this was doing this kind of scenario right here again not without mentioning what that is like I don't know maybe I jinxed it but aside from all that fun jazz looking at options you do see a lot of money getting into SoFi through options so of course that could be somewhat of a positive sign 4.71 million dollars in calls 3.1 in puts as far as sentiment wise very much evenly divided so no real outlier for that of the call options that are being purchased you do see consensus for it to be above roughly 750 by the end of next week and just briefly looking at the open interest so right now with it at seven dollars and 34 cents you're going to see a very small amount so three thousand in open interest get exercised so this is why you do see a lot of manipulation it's just market makers do not want so fine did not want them to be above 750 and even more so eight so going into next week you already do see a massive wall at 866,000 in open interest so that is a good indication that SoFi will definitely not be above eight dollars and even in fact you do see 
13,000 at that 7, 14,000 at the 750. So you might see the bigger entities essentially wanting to even suppress SoFi below $7. That's if you do believe in this. And I guess over this last several weeks, this has been very, very accurate. And like I mentioned, big money is not really getting into SoFi based on the secondary market. These are some of the transactions that have occurred today on the dark pool. So dark pool, no different than any other day is very, very popular. So 3.4 million and many others as you can kind of see so let me know your thoughts on that but as far as right now with it trading at seven dollars and 35 cents it is trading between this s1 and the pivot so still flirting with this 736 so no doubtably i do feel that the bigger entities are going to be preparing for maybe a pull down next week so it might actually fail to get above this pivot point so we'll just have to wait and see exactly what does happen but on the actual chart, I'll give you a quick overview of that. It is right now wanting to transition from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiling band. And if that does happen, this is again, more of a further setup and a breakdown based on the technicals. So I did say this, unfortunately, the first sign of weakness, whether it be SoFi specific or the broader market, you are going to see a very swift downtrend. And so right now as well, on a side note, stochastic was very overbought. So by this kind of pulling down and this consolidation you are having some of a reset of course with the technicals so i think bigger picture this is still healthy you want to watch for it definitely not to break below about 723 because if that does happen then essentially this is where you could see that seven dollar mark and potentially even lower from that and so just take a mental note as well of a lot of the strong support and resistance points right here but i think right now today's consolidation day is somewhat of a overreaction and is just being manipulated like i said just a lot of the brick and mortar banks are fundamentally flawed a lot of people are just saying like hey calm down guys the market like it's all right it's all right whereas it's not a lot of the data out there is really proving that brick and mortar banks are just destroying the market and that fintechs are going to be the future it's it's going to take a recession unfortunately for that to really transition and really get a hold because when i first started to cover sofi a long time ago i did say that it's going to take a very long time for sofi to be accepted by wall street because they're trying to be one of the most innovative companies in one of the oldest sectors of the stock market so that is not a easy task by any means so yeah i think it's just going to be a bumpy ride for the foreseeable future let me know if you have been buying the dip like i said i did today and as well i believe i did sell some 750 puts i believe on that so potentially i'll be getting some more shares at that uh, 750 as well so all in all i'm slowly buying the dip let me know if you're in the same boat as me don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like my sofi content don't forget to subscribe as a member link in the description below and also the comments i always greatly appreciate that but with all that said appreciate all of you watching